Hey guys, welcome to the second week of Rags to Riches. I'm going to rush this video a little bit just because there's a system update and I just want to get this video done. So without further ado, I'm going to sell all this stuff in my inventory. Ooh, let's do a quick little price check. 17.5 mil carried wealth. Awesome. I will show various clips from now just to highlight what I've been doing throughout the week to make all this money. Ooh, shit, I just spoiled the surprise for you. <laughs> Enjoy the clips. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, that's like the first good drop I've ever got from Glacors. Yeah! Right, let's try this again. Let's get a good drop this time. Yeah! Okay, make sure we get the switches right. Oh, no. Oh, run. Shit. <sighs> Damn it. There's so much to focus on when you're doing Glacors. That's kind of one of the good things and the bad things about it. Makes it more interesting. You know, there's an act actually a threat of dying here. But at the same time, there's a threat of dying here. So <laughs> that makes it bad at the same time. And uh, what have we got? Runite ore. And that's three of them. Not bad. Not bad at all. That's about 30k there. And a few charms as well. Not bad. Uh, let's grind on. So I've been thinking of ways to make money, and obviously Frost Dragons was one of the first things that came to mind. Yeah, that's not such a good idea at the minute. Have you seen the amount of bots there lately? It's absolutely crazy. So I'm kind of struggling for ways to make money at the minute. Obviously uh, Glacehorse has done quite well for me so far with my Glaven boots, you know. Alright, let's finish off this kill. I think he was mage last time? Yeah. Yeah, I've not had this unicorn very long and it's uh, serving me quite well so far. I'm quite glad to have it. But yeah, um, what I was going to ask you guys is I need suggestions for money making methods because I've obviously not done any proper money making in a while and the last time I did any proper money making, Frost dragons were viable but now they're not viable because they're just infested with bots so yeah I need more methods so if you could if you guys can suggest any uh, reliable methods and that's blue dragon hides meh uh, leave suggestions for money making methods in the comments and I'll be sure to check, uh, to check them out just as a little side note I have a bigger cash stack than I had previously last week just because I had 7 mil in my bank at which I was separating from the profit I was making from this series but I decided to just buy a load of items with that cash stack that was already in my bank just to sort of drain that surplus cash a little bit and I've just added it about 1.5 mil to the cash stack that I had in my money pouch so I'm just going to include that in the profit towards my 100 mil goal just so you guys don't get confused. It's just so that I don't have to keep a stupid spreadsheet all the time and have to edit the whole video, basically. So, yeah. This next clip is going to be, well, various clips of me at the Barrows. And I'm making quite a bit of cash here already. But teak planks aren't selling. That's not good. So I don't have much time. Seven minutes. I wonder what today's update might be. That should be interesting to cover later on. Just so you know, Barrows, Glacors and Water Fiends are the only things I've been killing this week. Mostly Water Fiends though, because I want Charms to train summoning at the bonus XP weekend, because it's been confirmed that you can actually train summoning, so which is quite cool. And that also explains why I've got loads of water orbs and seaweed and stuff like that in my inventory in the clips at the GE. But Barrows, I have to say, is pretty good money, it's very consistent cash, if you have a Draken's Medallion and a Tockle Zoe Ring, because that'll just make it quicker in general. And I'd estimate the constant cash rate to be at least 500k per hour, and that's without counting Barrow's items. And you probably will get a few of them, because you'll be doing loads of consistent chests. And I only managed to get one item that this week, which was the Verax Flail. So if you guys ever go to Barrow's, or Glacors for that matter, make sure you take a goddamn Ring of Wealth, it'll help immensely. Alright, so just to finish off, I'm going to sell all these most valuable things. 
So let's start off with the D maces that I got from the Glaze Source. And that's bringing in a hefty almost 60k. And the death runes, wow, that's 1.1-ish mil worth of death runes. Wow, okay. That's pretty cool, I have to say. And the Verex flail that I got from Barrows. Very spiffing indeed, 165k. Not bad. Potion flasks, 1.3 mil. Oh, almost 1.4 even. And finally, the grand finale. Yes, my Glaven boots. Let's see how much these fetch. Okay, apparently they don't fetch 13.23 mil. Let's try. 13 to... See if that works. Ah, oh, you cheapskates. God damn it. Quick, there's only two minutes! No! Um, how much do I sell it for? Oh god, motherfuckers. I need to do it before the update, come on. Oh, by the way, uh, I said I'd save up spins on the Squeal of Fortune dur uh, during the week, sorry. But it turns out you can't do that, so thanks to whoever told me that in the comments. Uh, you were right, it turns out. They don't accumulate over days just for logging in, so you have to use them on the day. So that kind of sucks that I can't do them all in this video, but oh well. And these Glaven boots are kind of pissing me off now, <laughs> I have to say. Uh, right, I'll tell you what. I'll just leave those on the Grand Exchange overnight, and I'll just do this. Let's see how much we have right now. That's the wrong thing. So I'll add them. Alright, so that's our current progress towards our 100 mil goal. That's 19.68 mil. That's not too bad. 20%, Almost 20% of the goal in one week. But I did get quite lucky. I won't be making this much progress in one week every single week. I hope you guys liked this video and the clips that I had to show you. I'll be sure to do lots of money making throughout the week. I'll try out some various methods, so if there's anything you want me to investigate as uh, in regards to money-making methods, then let me know, and I'll try them out, see if they're any good. And I will see you next week for my next payday.